Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to be installing an AC unit in my enclosed trailer. Well, I say I, but my dad ended up doing most of the work. We started with figuring out where the unit would go. We knew we'd have to cut through one of the studs, so we placed it where we'd only have to go through one rather than two, and butted the unit up against the other stud. We ended up putting it up in the V-nose, just so that it would be out of the way and wouldn't really take up any additional space. As for the height, we just ended up picking a spot. It wasn't really too important as long as it was decently high up. But after we had a good idea of where we wanted it to be, we measured the unit and finished up marking on the wall exactly where it would go. And after that, of course, it was time to start cutting. We ended up using a circular saw to cut it, starting with a little test cut just to be able to verify everything was where it should be. Now, if you've noticed, there's no insulation. I've got a pretty neat solution I want to try in a later video on getting all the insulation into the walls and maybe making my own insulation very cheaply, but we'll see if I go about doing it that way. And since I can't think of anything to fill this space with, enjoy watching this wall get cut in high speed. Also, here's my dad waving at the camera while I have a really dumb grin on my face. Once the cutting was finished, we decided to mount what I believe is the top bar for the AC unit on the bottom. It had a bit of foam on it, so we figured that might be nicer, since there would be weight on that part of it, whereas we just used some angle we had lying around for the top. So I didn't actually get any footage of how we did the top angle, but essentially we ended up putting it where it'd have a bit of lean outward so that the water would run out if it ever actually came out. Personally, I've never had any water come out even after running it all day. It doesn't seem to ever drain out since it's got a big area for the water to go and it kind of splashes the water up. For the outside, we decided we'd also do some angle on the top and bottom of the unit. Susie ended up spray painting them black to fit the color of the trailer but neither of us really had much spray painting experience, so it didn't end up looking perfect, but it did the job and we learned a bit along the way. Which, don't let the video fool you, we did make sure it was all done decently enough. There's spots that you can see here, but that's just because we hadn't finished yet when we turned off the camera. But with all that, the project was pretty much done. We mounted the angle to the top and bottom like we planned, and then went ahead and used silicone to seal the unit up and prevent leaks. Speaking of leaks, let me mention today's sponsor, all the money that's been leaking out of my pocket and into this channel. So, if you want to help a little less money leak out of my pocket, consider checking out my Patreon, or if you don't want to contribute in that way, just subscribe, comment, or maybe join the Discord and hang out. It all helps make these videos worth the effort. So here's the finished product. I think it looks great. I've ran it and it runs really great as well, although I don't really plan on running it until I get the walls insulated, but that's a project for another time. I have to say, doing stuff like this is extremely satisfying. There definitely is something nice about doing a project with your dad. And I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with that, I'll leave you guys with this video of Susie tapping a wall. <laughs> 